Well, I think the biggest difference is trying to find out about the lesser team. And I don't say lesser, don't get them bent out of shape. You know, because I don't sit around and watch the 80th ranked team in the country. You know, but you have to try to get some background on all these teams. You know, in the NBA, you know all 16 teams pretty well. You've seen them probably play. I've probably seen every NBA team play probably 20 times throughout the season. But in college, I've seen the really good teams play probably 10, 15 times. But some of the teams I've only seen play one time. That's the biggest difference. Well, you know, BYU, clearly that was tough losing that young kid. But that's not the only story. I mean, uh, there's no clear-cut favorite. I think that's probably the biggest story. You know, this is the first time I can remember that wasn't a, somebody said, this team is the heavy favorite going in. Uh, that, uh, you know, but this year, you know, Kansas, I like Kansas and Texas. They're the two, two of the better teams I've seen play all season. But there's no dominant team. I think that, that's the storyline, to be honest with you. And this is the first time all the games have been televised. You know, being in the studio, being at home, you only get to one game in your area. You know, this is, gonna, this is probably, to me, the most exciting and unique thing about the tournament is every game is going to be on. And I guarantee you where I'm going to be, they're going to have all four games on. That's going to be pretty cool for me. You know, I'm, I mean, clearly I'm not going to criticize these kids like I would NBA players. You know, I mean, that's, that, that, I'm not, that, that wouldn't be fair. They're not getting paid $10 million a year. So I, I'm not going to be overly critical of college kids. Well, you have to watch NBA uh, college basketball because that's what you do. Like when I travel, I watch college basketball. I don't watch NBA games. First of all, there's really no NBA games on except X amount of nights a week. But the rest of the time, you're watching college basketball. Well, I told you, I really like Kansas to win the whole thing. But there's no clear-cut favorite. Ohio State's got a really good team. Duke is solid. Pittsburgh is solid. But if I had to pick a winner, I'd probably go with uh, Kansas. I just think they got the best team top to bottom. They've had some discipline issues, but I think that's going to help them in the long run.